Tonight we're here with Mr. Lionel Spoon Jr. How are you doing tonight, sir? Thank you. I'm doing well. I just want to first off say this is a beautiful home here that you allowed us to come into, sir. Well, glad you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Well, I have a couple of questions I'd like to ask you. First primary question is just tell the viewers about yourself. Well, my name is Lionel Sproul Jr. I am originally from Chesapeake, Virginia. I have been living in the great and beautiful city of Norfolk for the last four and a half, five years. I'm a community activist. I am a public servant. Um, I just, I like helping people. I love helping people, I should say, um, you know, and that's a little bit about me. We love to serve us. I love to serve. <laughs> Be addressing your upcoming campaign? Well, some of the issues that I'm going to be addressing are bringing jobs into the Commonwealth and into the uh, city of Norfolk, making sure that small uh, min and minority businesses receive a large, well, I don't want to say large, but a fair share of the pie. Uh, without small businesses, we would be in trouble and i recognize that i want to make sure that they're protected and that uh laws are enacted that will make sure that they not only get their uh fair share of the pie but the use of the title small business is not abused by people who are not actually small businesses or minority and women only okay so you speak on issues that you see that we're having a problem with this. What are your, not only your issues, but what do you see coming down in the future as far as it relates to the city of Norfolk and also the state of Virginia? Well, with the city of Norfolk, um, like I said earlier, I want to make sure that Norfolk continues to move forward. We have wonderful leadership here and to make sure that they have the tools necessary to keep Norfolk at the forefront. I would like to make sure that the citizens are well informed. Uh, I will be always accessible to the people in the 89th and actually in the Commonwealth itself. Because without people, then there's nothing that can be done. I, I, I want to serve at the pleasure of the people. And th this is not my seat. This is not any of you know, those other politician seats. This seat belongs to the people. I'm asking them for the opportunity to serve them and, and work for them. Okay, you speak on people. Now I want to touch on an issue about education. I want to start from the K to the 12th. You know? How do you see that helping going on today? Well, I, I will always make sure that I support K through 12 funding for public schools, always. Um, we are a nation that we're starting to fall behind because we're not making sure that our students are prepared. We have the best and brightest teachers here, so we should also have the best and brightest students. But they can only do their job if they have a supporting network and a, someone who believes in them. I believe in my teachers. I believe in the United States. I believe in Virginia. I believe in Norfolk. I believe that if we all work together and pull together, then we're gonna remain one of the strongest nations in the world. I believe that our teachers, they, they, they are wonderful. They are asked to be mothers, counselors, in some cases go in their own pocket and become providers to help our teacher, I mean to help our, our children. So it is only fair that we reward them uh, with you know making sure that you know we may not have the money to give them raises because I do believe they do deserve raises, but I believe they should deserve they should receive some type of tax credit to help them uh, when it comes to you know person school supplies or 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 even with their real estate and, and, and you know their their personal property taxes and that is something that I would definitely definitely push uh, during my session. Okay, you spoke on K through twelve. But let's how about a little upper level? You know the college students. These are the Oh, yeah. Well, with the higher education, we have to make sure that our students are prepared to go out into the world and compete. We have to make sure that uh, grants are available, financial aid is available, and, re and remove a little bit of the red tape that a lot of students run into. We are asking our students to compete, 
but we're not giving them the tools to compete with. We want our students to be the brightest and best, and they are. But in order for, for that type of attitude to be fostered, they have to make sure that they receive the support they need. Okay. I understand about that. The next question I want to ask you, because I, I realize that you are an alumni of Memphis State University. Behold the green and gold. Yes, I am. Yes, the green and gold. Uh -huh. So do you see them playing a part in what your, your campaign is willing to do and what you're, how far you're willing to go? Uh, well, I don't know about that. I know that I will always support Norfolk State University. I will always stand behind and with Norfolk State and any efforts. I will stand with its students and its faculty to make sure that Norfolk State remains the jewel of Southampton Roads. Okay. One more question for you. Okay. You talked about the issue. You talked a little bit about yourself, mm -hmm. what you're trying to bring to the city of Norfolk as well as the state of Virginia. Yes. But really, what are you about? I'm about people. People over politics. People over bureaucracy. Because without people, there's nothing that can be accomplished. I want to make sure that our educators are well supported. I want to make sure that our public safety officers are well supported. I want to make sure that a man and a woman can go out and, and find a job, a real job, and able to support and take care of their families. I want to make sure that I can take my wife out or you can take your wife out and, and be able to enjoy a movie and, and, a, and a nice dinner and and not have to worry about whether the light's going to be on when we get back. That's my thing. That is what my passion is about. I have to make sure that we, my, our students have uh, funding for financial aid. I have to make sure that the elderly, my senior citizens, because without them there would be no me, make sure that they get as many tax breaks as possible, especially when it comes to medicine, uh, transportation, they, they need all those breaks because I have spoken with a few and it bothered me so much when I was, you know, told that, you know, I have to decide whether I eat or whether I can buy my medication. Now, we're the richest country in the world and, and we have our people living like that. I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that we're here on this earth to help people and, and 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 God has given me the opportunity and put me in a place where I am and do have the opportunity to do so so I'm going to take full advantage of that if I'm given the opportunity okay thank you for all that information sir you're Just, more welcome you know I really thank you for this interview you allowed us to have and I hope you have a wonderful night hey thank you very much